Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Spegmeister, and welcome to part one of my Halo C Anniversary Legendary walkthrough. On this episode, I'll be going over the first mission of the game, the Pillar of Autumn. All I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. Secure airlock on deck 11. Fort Lee's platoon rendezvous with 22nd Tactical at Bolthead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Man, we let those dumb bugs out to the middle of nowhere to keep them from getting their filthy claws on Earth. But we stumbled onto something that's so hot for that they're scrambling over each other to get it. Well, I don't care if it's God's own anti-son of a bitch machine or a giant hula hoop. We're not going to let them have it. What we will let them have is a belly full of lead and a pool of their own blood to drown in. Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is going to be your lucky day. Whoa. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five!
That wasn't very nice of that uh, guy to shoot the marine. So what's really nice about the beginning of this level is skipping the tutorial if you're playing on Heroic or Legendary. Battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Makes up four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yeah. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. After we make our stop at the bridge and get our weapon from the captain, there'll just be three grunts waiting outside here for us. Once you dispatch those enemies in the cafeteria, just be ready to turn to the other side and be ready to take out the grunts. Once you deal with the grunts, then it's quite a bit easier to charge the elites. Sometimes one enemy will retreat into this next hallway. If it's a grunt, it, he'll usually take cover by this barricade. If you need to grab more ammo, there'll be some on this rack, and then there's a health kit right next to it. And then this guy we can just smack in the back. Now if you have a grenade, go ahead and chuck one inside the airlock. And you should take an overwhelming majority of these guys out. We're using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. So inside that airlock you'll find a couple overshield power-ups. So you can go ahead and Snag one of those if you can. Now I thought I had my plasma grenade out there, so I was a little surprised that the frag bounced off. 
so up here we have a couple or a few marines so what I like to do is flank around into this hallway and try to stick the elites generally as long as you don't open fire they'll be unaware of where you are Once you take out enough enemies, there'll be a few more in this hallway. If you need some more ammo and a health kit, there'll be some right here by this doorway. Coming up there, if you can try to stick one of the elites, you should be able to wipe out any grunts nearby. Here I'm not too concerned about sticking the elites, I'm just going to try to stick whichever enemies I see first. And if you need another overshield at this point, there will be a couple more in this airlock. Right here what I'm going to do is try to pre-nade that doorway and see if I can take out a few enemies there. I got a couple there so I'm not sure if I got an elite or a grunt. I didn't pay attention to the score. And what I'm going to do is let this last enemy drain my overshields before I go any further. And what I can do here is just run back, pick up the other overshield before I proceed. And if you need to grab another health kit, there will be one right here. Just be sure that when you enter this next area to get that health, because you won't have an opportunity to pick up later. So what I'm doing here is just running upstairs and taking out all the enemies on this top floor first. And this section was a little bit more dangerous than what I anticipated. Uh, the grunt on the bottom floor was chucking grenades. So I was trying to be really careful not to get too close to any of those. Down this hallway there will be a couple elites and a few grunts. So I'm just going to chuck two grenades down there to see if I can take out some of the enemies. Down in this dark corner, there'll just be a couple more grunts. And then down here, there's just a couple more elites plus one grunt. I just like to take out the grunt first. And then you can try to plasma combo these elites. It's a little bit harder to use the plasma pistol combo in this game just because the elites are really used to strafing left to right quite a bit and dodging your shots. Covenant 
Warning. Blast doors closing. We have to use the ship's maintenance access point. Follow the nav point. We'll lead you to an opening. Coming up on this next area, I'm going to take a little bit of a stealthier approach. See if I can at least knock out maybe one or two grunts and stick an elite. As long as the enemies don't see you, they're not going to react to you. Eventually I will happen. have to open fire on these guys. Just try to take this part a little bit slow, especially if you have the elites to deal with. And if they get in the hallway, you can try to stick them as well. That guy was weakened from my first grenade. As you're going through this level, uh, be sure to trade out for a fresh plasma pistol or plasma rifle whenever you get the chance. I think through the first five missions of the game I'll be relying on the plasma pistol quite a bit. So as soon as that explosion goes off, make your way to this side of the room because another one will go off right behind you. And that can actually kill you if you just stand there. So use your grenades well on this part because there are quite a few enemies that are just packed together. And it wasn't necessary for me to go kill that grunt but I decided to do it just because. And up here we have another opportunity to use our grenades quite effectively. Even having a bunch of frag grenades as well on this rack. And one or two grenades should knock out these grunts at the end. And that will be a wrap for this first mission.
And that'll be it for the beginning mission of Halo CE Anniversary. Uh, it's a pretty, I would say the Pillar of Autumn is the easiest mission if you're playing on any difficulty, even legendary all skills on. As long as you use your grenades wisely and um, use whatever Covenant weapons that you have available, it's pretty quick and simple to walk through this level on legendary. So... Hopefully you guys found this guide to be really useful on your legendary run. And thank you all for joining in with me on this episode. I really appreciate the support. And hopefully I will see you on the next guide.